So here is our live copperhead. Uh, and when I use the word infamous, it's because everybody who runs into a snake because they can't properly identify them, they're worried about one of the most commonly seen venomous snakes in the Hudson Valley. They think it might be a copperhead. But often it's like I said, water snakes, milk snakes, which are easily distinguishable. I've even been called to a piece of property where when I got there, it turned out to be the most common of all, the garter snake. But if you look at a copperhead, it's clearly evident how they got their name. It is a snake with a coppery color on its head. It's a bright orangey copper color, similar to a new penny. But just like pennies can, uh, can tarnish and age and darken, so can copperheads. They're Sometimes when they're getting ready to shed and sometimes when they get older, their head can be darker and not quite as bright as coppery of color. So the other key feature you want to see is the banding pattern. Their banding pattern is very specific. They have what is basically a, a hourglass shape of banding. If you take a look at the bands of a copperhead, you will notice that the dark bands are narrow on the back and they're very wide along the side. And not only are they wide, they do not taper in a straight line like those of the water snake we just saw. The copper heads have rounded edges on their bands, giving them that hourglass design. Those are the telltale signs of knowing what a true copper head looks like. Now, there are a few other things that were always brought up in the old field guides, like looking at the shape of their eyes. Since they are pit vipers, they do have elliptical pupils. And because it's a pit viper, it does have the heat sensing pit organs in the front of its face. But if you're not a snake person and you're not accustomed to handling venomous snakes, you probably don't want to get that close to the face of a snake that you don't know what kind it is. One last thing that I've heard a lot of in the myths over the years is they smell like cucumbers. Many snakes can do what's called musking. And this snake right here, he's very used to people, as you can tell. He was raised in captivity, and uh, he's not musking. But I've worked with other copperheads that do musk, and it does not smell like anything I'd ever want to put on one of my salads. So don't go sniffing through the woods on your next hike thinking that the smell of cucumber means there's copperheads around. It might just mean that you're close to somebody's garden.